welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our tiny gift box bunny add-on die, and I love this die so much. What it does is it makes the tiny gift box that we came out with in the fall winter season into a cute little bunny that's perfect for Easter and spring. Here you can see all of the dies that this set comes with to make this adorable little bunny. And first you'll see that we've got that little black rectangle that's to add the color behind the eyes of the bunny. We also have two different styles of legs, sitting or standing, and then we have all of these cute accessories that are just awesome. The first step to creating one of these cute little bunny boxes is to make the tiny gift box. So this box is really easy to build. All you have to do is fold along all of the score lines that the die creates for you. So you'll see I'm just going to fold all of those little pieces and I love that with just one pass through the die cut machine it makes this cute little box. So I'm going to fold those all and then what I'm going to use is some nice strong tape. I'm going to use some score tape here to add to the little side pieces of the box. Then I can peel off that liner tape there, expose that adhesive, and create the box. And to create the box, all you need to do is just line up those little tabs with the front of the box. So I just make sure I line up those two edges so that it looks nice, and that's it. That's all you have to do. I love that it's so easy to build. It's a perfect size for a little Hershey's Kiss or a bunch of jelly beans, which would be really, really cute for Easter, or maybe even some of those little chocolate eggs would be really cute in there too. So once you have your box built, I go ahead and close it. And then now the first thing I'm gonna do is add my little cotton tail on. So I'm gonna add some glue there to the box and then layer that little tail piece there. And I, that's my favorite part of the whole thing. That little cotton tail just makes me smile. I'm gonna add some glue there around the back of the bunny's face and then layer that black piece of cardstock there to give it the little eyes and nose there. And you could use any color of cardstock for that. Now this little die here, you can use or not. So in this case, we're gonna use it. And what it does is it creates these cute little paws for the bunny to hold things. So I'm gonna line up the bottom of that die right with the bottom of the bunny die cut, center that, and I'm gonna use some low tack tape to hold it in place. I'll then run it through my die cut machine, peel up that die, and you can see how cute those little paws are. I just love them. So here I die cut the egg from the set in white, and I'm just adding a little color with a Copic marker, a light color BG10, and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my colorless blender. Then I can go ahead and take that cute little egg and place it in the bunny's paws. So I'm adding a little glue to the back, and then I'm gonna kinda tuck it behind the paws so that both paws are holding the egg, and I think that's such a cute look. The next thing I'm gonna do is add my little bunny face to my box. I'm putting some glue on the back and then I'm just gonna layer that onto the front of the box. I've got my cute little sitting legs here and I'm taking some antique linen distress ink and just adding a little bit of shading to the outside part of the legs. That way they don't just completely blend onto the box since they're the same color cardstock as the box. So you can see there with that little shading there on that leg, you can really see it stand out, but yet it's the same color, which I think is a really cute kind of monochromatic look for this little bunny. One thing that you want to make sure when you're making the bunny that has the paws holding stuff, you want to make sure he's a sitting bunny. Ask me how I know. I added the standing legs on an earlier version of this video and he became a six-legged bunny and I didn't realize it until after I filmed the video. So I went and redid this little guy with the sitting legs and now I'm adding some rosy cheeks. I just cut out the cheeks and colored them with some pink markers. These are some flowers actually from our spring house add-on for the scallop treat box. And so I'm gonna use that for the little bunny's hair. I got this idea from Ellen. I think it's just so cute. So I colored the back piece pink and now he's got a little white flower on his hair and he's just so cute. I just love him holding that little Easter egg so much. Next up, I wanted to make a more colorful bunny. So here I'm forming my tiny gift box out of some ballet slippers cardstock, and then I'm going to add my cute little cotton tail to the back, and I'm going to die cut those little paws again. So I'm lining up that die along the bottom edge of the bunny face, centering it, holding it in place with some low tack tape, running it through my die cut machine, and now I have those cute little paws. The next step is to add that black piece behind the face. I just put some glue there around those openings and I'm just gonna layer that piece right behind to add some color to his little eyes and nose. And then here is the carrot from the set, which I've cut from fake tan and cilantro cardstock. And so I'm gonna layer that on top and then once again, tuck it between his paws so that he's holding that cute little carrot. It just makes me smile, it's just adorable. Then next, I'm gonna add some glue to the front of my little tiny gift box here, and then I'm going to layer that little bunny face on top. 
Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make him into the sitting bunny. So we're going to we're going to use the other style of legs here and layer those onto either sides of the box. And I just love these bunnies so much. I love that you can take this little tiny gift box that I kind of really thought of for advent calendars and for Christmas and make it into something that's perfect for spring. So here you can see that cute little sitting bunny box. I just think he's so cute. And even though bunnies aren't pink, I just think it's adorable because it's just a perfect color for spring. So next up, I wanted to make one more bunny. So I cut him from some Storm Cloud cardstock, that tiny gift box. Then I'm gonna layer on a little white cotton tail again. And then I'll repeat some of the same process. And you can see how fast these go. It'd be really easy to make a lot of these as treats for a party or maybe even a kid's classroom. So I'm gonna layer that black piece behind. And this time, instead of cutting out the paws, I'm gonna give him the little belly. And that's what that kind of little half moon shaped die is for, is for his cute little belly. So I've added some uh, glue to the back of that and then I'm going to go ahead and layer that on to the front of the little bunny face. I'm adding some little rosy cheeks there cut out of some ballet slippers cardstock. I'm just going to push that cheek right into the perfect place to match the one on the left. And then I can add some glue to the front of my tiny gift box, layer that cute little bunny face on. And in this case, I wanted to make another standing bunny. So I'm taking the standing bunny legs and adhering those onto the sides of the box. And in this case, I'm just using all of that kind of storm cloud cardstock so that the bunny is all gray. And I just love him. He's just so cute. The little standing legs are adorable. And I love that he's He's not necessarily Easter specific. He could work for spring or just anytime, any time for anybody who loves bunnies. And so here you can see that cute little gray guy. And then I wanted to show you in comparison with the different styles of little bunny boxes I made here. And I love that kind of your imagination's the limit. You can make them sitting or standing. You could have them holding other die cuts that you might have, which could be really, really cute, like a little balloon or something. So I just think they're so much fun. I just love them so much. Next up, we have some gorgeous inspiration from our design team. And these little bunnies are so cute by Elena. I love them in white with those cute little rosy pink cheeks and how she added some detail to those carrots too. And then here is that cute little brown bunny in craft cardstock that inspired me to make mine. I just love little brown bunnies. I think maybe because that's what I have around my house. I just think they're so cute. Now here by Melissa Stinson, these rainbow bunnies make me smile big time. I love them. They would be such a cute decoration. They're just adorable in those bright and happy cardstock colors. And then Yanea had the cutest idea. She took little banners with little toothpicks and have them holding that. And that's a, such a cute way you could do thanks or happy birthday or all sorts of different sentiments this way. I just think it's such a cool idea. And then Lynette got super creative and she used the bunny faces on a card. So I love that you could do something three dimensional or you can make a card, which is so much fun. So I cannot wait to see your bunny gift boxes. So make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. Thank you.